What's going on guys? All right, today we're gonna learn how to front side nose grind on a mini ramp. Now, before you start learning this trick, just wanna make sure you can front side 50-50 grind. And switch blunt. All right guys, so front side nose grind pop out. One of the coolest looking tricks on mini ramp. Also one of the most difficult ones. Definitely takes a little bit of commitment and you know, you could take some slams trying to learn this one, but I think it just looks awesome. So gonna give you guys few tips I've learned over the years and hopefully make it a little easier for you. All right, so before you do anything with this trick, I would recommend just practicing flying out of the mini ramp onto the deck and learning how to nose manual. Just because that's pretty much the same exact motion as a nose grind and it'll get you used to shifting your weight onto the nose without the risk of slipping out in the coping. It's kind of hard to do it on a deck this size Maybe one that's a little bigger might be easier for you. All right, so after you have that down, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just approach the ramp at a 45 degree angle. All right, so once you're able to fly out of the deck into a nose manual, you're ready to start trying the nose grind. So when I pop to come into this trick, I don't do like a full on ollie. I kind of do a quick <laughs> pop into the nose grind. Sometimes I snap the tail, sometimes I don't. But either way, it's definitely just like a quick little motion where I'm just kind of popping it right in there. Okay, so once you're able to lock into the nose grind, it'll almost feel natural to kind of keep turning almost into an overcrook. But I like to focus on keeping my shoulders straight, almost the same angle as the coping. And that way I can grind a little longer, have more time to get set up, and as I'm grinding, start to turn at the end of the grind. All right, so you got your shoulders straight, pressing flat in your foot, and you're holding the grind. Now towards the end, you're naturally gonna start turning into the ramp. And this is where the switch blunt comes in because the pop-in is almost exactly the same as the switch blunt. When you have the momentum from the nose grind, it almost feels exactly the same. All right guys, so this is really the hardest part of the trick is popping in. So when you go to come in and you're starting to turn, you're almost gonna every time jump ahead of it. Almost every time. Cause you'll wanna come in and it'll feel right, but you'll just be a little too far ahead of it. So this is where when you're grinding and thinking about coming in, as you start to turn, you have to have it in your head to push forward on the nose and push the nose out in front of you. That's the only way you're gonna keep the board under your feet when you go to pop in. Okay, and then once you're up to that point, you're just gonna keep kicking it around probably because you're scared of hanging up. And yeah, it's pretty much the same thing I did Then eventually you'll stick one after like 20 tries or something. Uh, but once you get that one down, it all just clicks. You kind of push it forward, sticks to your feet, then it just feels amazing. So then once you get that down, you can try to learn some variations. All right guys, so if you have any questions about this trick or if you'd like to see me do a trick tip on another trick, just leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.